The movie begins with a gang posing as cleaning workers, and then they entered a bank in which the U.S. gold reserves are located. When they entered the bank, a group of them went to the control room. They electrified the guards in the room. They unplugged the security cameras and turned on the fire alarm so that the people in the bank could get out. After a number of people came out of the bank, the gang members brandished their weapons and began the robbery. And they took the bank employees out of the bank. They took a number of people hostage. They took the phones from them and then gave them gang-like clothes. The leader of the gang is a girl named Ariella. She and some gang members took the bank manager to the bank safe and asked him to open it. This safe was filled with gold, but the gang was not interested in gold. The gang asked the manager to open another door for them in the safe. They entered a small room and found inside it an iron cage with many boxes inside. The bank manager was surprised by the presence of this box. He told them that he had never been to this place before and that he did not know what was inside the boxes. When the gang members opened the boxes, they found gold inside. Every gold ingot had an inscription written on it in German. At this time, the police arrive at the bank. Detective Brin of the FBI was responsible for this case. She started interrogating the people who came out of the bank in order to get any information about the gang. She knew through witnesses that there are members of the gang who speak German, and she also knew that the leader of the gang is a girl. Inside the bank, the gang brought the cleaning equipment that they brought into the bank, which now turns out to be gold smelting equipment. They started using these tools to smelt the gold inside the boxes. Ariella was looking at a gang member named Joseph, and it was clear that Ariella could not stand this person. An NYPD detective named Remy joins Detective Brin to work together on this case. In the bank, Ariella opened one of the deposit boxes, and the number of this box was 392, and she put a picture and a bracelet inside it, and it was clear that she was sad, and it seemed that she was forced to do this thing. Brin called the bank and Ariella answered. Ariella tells them they want water. Remy spoke to her and tried to know her name, but she did not tell him her name and asked him to give her Brin to talk to her. Ariella tells Brin that they need water and food for 20 people and asks her to make the detective promise to bring the food herself to the bank. Brin refused, telling her that the law forbids anyone working for the FBI from entering a place where hostages are held. Ariella tells her that she doesn't care what she said and that they have to do what she asked. She also asked them to have two armored cars and to bring them in front of the bank at 12 o'clock at night. And she told them that if they did not do what she asked, she would kill a hostage every hour after 12 o'clock at night. Brin tells Remy that they should let the SWAT storm the bank before 12 o'clock and they'll be the ones to get the job done. After a few moments, the police brought water and put it in front of the bank. And then a girl from the gang came out with one of the hostages in order to take the water. Remy asks her to enter the bank with her to check on the health of the hostages. But she refused. Then Ariella goes out to the bank door and Remy starts talking to her and he tries to convince her to allow him to enter the bank. But she refused and entered the bank. Remy tells Brin that what is happening is not just theft and that there is something strange in the gang leader's voice. And he tells her that he believes that there is something other than theft. The gang at the bank started smelting gold. Then Ariella calls them and tells them that she needs a car large enough to transport the gold and she also asked them for five tickets to the city of Marrakesh. Then the gang moved all the hostages to another room and we see two people inside the safe and one of them is digging a hole in the wall and in a specific place. Joseph tells Ariella they're ready and she gets upset with him. Remy brings food to the gang. Ariella walks out and is talked to by Remy, who tells her that he thinks she's being forced into what she's doing. She told him that no one wanted to be here and that everything was difficult and complicated. Then she entered the bank. The rest of the gang members were melting the gold and turning it into cylindrical sticks. At 12 o'clock at night, the police brought two armored cars in front of the bank. 
Bryn calls Ariella and tells her they've done what she told them to. She asks her to do something for them in return and that they can check on the hostages. Ariella told her she could let her come and check on the hostages. Bryn told her she couldn't come and she would send someone else to check on the hostages. But Ariella refused. At this time, a member of the gang was trying to steal gold bars for himself and tried to hide them. But Joseph killed him. Bryn heard the sound of gunfire on the phone and she was scared and worried because she thought the gang was going to kill the hostages. So she decided to enter the bank herself. Ariella knew that Joseph had killed a gang member and she was furious at what he had done. But she clearly couldn't do anything about it. She tells him that he told her to plan the operation and she did so, and therefore she asks him to stick to the plan and to carry out what she asks of him. Joseph ignored Ariella and didn't respond. Bryn walked into the bank and was holding a secret security camera. She saw the hostages and knew they were doing well. The gang asked Bryn to dress like theirs. Ariella tells Bryn that they are also going to take her hostage. Bryn tells her what she's doing is wrong and she tells her she can help her. Ariella tells Bryn that if she wants them to get out of this place, she has to hear her words carefully, telling her that she is the only hope for her to get out of this place. Bryn asks Ariella why that is and why she is her only hope. Ariella whispers to Bryn and tells her something. One of the officers comes and tells Remy Yen that there is a girl who wants to meet the person responsible for this operation. This girl told Remy that she knows one of the gang members, and she introduced herself and told him that her name was Ava, and she is a student in the College of Engineering and works in the public library. And she told him that a while ago a person named Bob came to her and told her that he is an engineer and that he needs engineering designs for the buildings in the city, including the design of the bank. And she gave him the designs for him, and then Bob was coming to the library, and they had a relationship. And she told Remy that one day Bob was drunk, and he told her that he was going to rob the bank and she thought he was joking, and she also told him that two weeks ago they broke up, and she told him that Bob was the one who beat her like that. Ava tells Remy that Bob took the bank's designs so they can dig a tunnel and escape through it. Remy tells her that this is impossible because the drain is close to the river and that if the gang tries to dig a tunnel, the water will enter the drain. But Ava told him they could go out. She told him that in 1890 the government was digging a subway line near the river, but the project was not completed at the time, and she told him that if the gang knew the location of the tunnel, they would be able to get out. Remy asked her to stay because he thought they would need her. An officer named Anch tells Remy that he searched the bank's security camera records and found that a girl had come to the bank four times. In two days before the robbery, he searched for this girl and was able to know her identity and told him that her name was Ariella and she had German and American citizenship and told him that this girl could be the leader of the gang. He also told him the director of the German bank and he died a month ago and that there is a son of the bank manager named Dietrich Case who is a big businessman and has suspicious criminal activities. Ariella takes Bryn and locks her in a room inside the safe. Minutes later, a message arrives to Ariella from a person telling her that the rapid intervention forces will enter the bank through the roof. And it is the same message that reached Joseph. Joseph went to the roof of the bank and was able to hit two of the SWAT forces and get them out of the bank. Remy called Ariella who was looking nervous and scared. He told her that he did not order the rapid intervention forces to storm the bank, and then asked her whether they had completed digging the tunnel or not. She was pretending she didn't know what he was talking about. He told her that he was not interested in the gold, but rather wanted the hostages out safely. Then he told her about her relationship with Dietrich Case, but Ariella got nervous and hung up. We go back in the events to one day when Ariella was in her house and suddenly a group of people attacked them, including Joseph, and they kidnapped her brother. Joseph and the people with him are working for Dietrich Case, who asked Ariella to plan the bank robbery 
and in return he will free her brother. Dietrich Case chose Ariella for this task because he knew that she and her brother had been robbing banks previously and they were both very professional in robbery operations. In the bank, we see the person who was digging in the wall managed to reach the tunnel next to the bank and then Joseph came and killed this person. Ariella was not satisfied with what happened, but Joseph was angry and told her that he would be the leader now. Then they put bombs in the main hall. Officer Anch was able to obtain important information and was able to know that after World War II America stole German gold, and that there is nothing to prove that America is the one who took this gold and that no one knows the location of this gold. Remy knew that the gold that was stolen from Germany is in this bank. He also knew that Dietrich Case was a German, so he was trying to get the gold back to his country. Remy spoke with the governor of the central bank and asked him about German gold. The governor of the central bank assures Remy that the gold is indeed in the bank, but unofficially. Ariella enters a room in the bank and puts an oxygen bottle in it. A girl from the gang came and gave Bryn a phone and told her that she would need this phone later. Ariella was able to lock Joseph and close the door on him and take the weapon from him. But while Ariella was walking, bombs explode and Ariella faints. The wall in which the gang members were digging had collapsed because of the bombs and the water was entering the bank through the river. Remy and the police stormed the bank and managed to free the hostages. Ariella's friend was in the safe and the water started filling up so she threw the keys to Bryn and ran away. Joseph was trying to break down the door while Bryn was trying to find the keys. Remy found Bryn and he was trying to open the door for her but Joseph came out of the room and tried to kill Remy. But Bryn opened the door and killed Joseph. Remy and Bryn are out of the bank. Remy doesn't find Ava but he does find the number 392 written on the board. Remy opens safe deposit box 392, which Ariella opened at the start of the robbery. He finds a German gold ingot and a picture of Ariella with her brother and Ava. And he was able to know that Ariella is carrying out the robbery in order to save her brother. Bryn opened the phone with her while Ava was watching her and she also wiped the makeup on her eyes which turned out to be working with Ariella and she tricked Remy into writing the safe deposit box number and making Remy discover the truth. Remy was interrogating the hostages, but Remy's manager told him to close the case file, but Remy told him that there were two people from the gang who were not present, and they certainly went out with the hostages. But the manager tells him that as long as the gold is not stolen, he is not interested in anything else. The manager meant the US reserve gold only because he did not know that there was German gold. On the second day, a cleaning team arrives at the drain to clean up the debris from the blast. Remy was not convinced that the gang had failed, nor was he convinced that the gang had blown up the wall by mistake, and he felt that something was wrong. And when Remy looked at the pictures that were inside the deposit box, he noticed that the bracelets were thin. So he went to the bank and noticed that the cleaning team had left and they completed the cleaning process very quickly. Remy was able to know what happened and understand that the gang melted the gold and changed its shape. And he also discovered that the gang deliberately blew up the wall in order to delude the police that the operation had failed. From the bank. Remy enters the bank and finds a ventilation hole in the ceiling, which he discovers is a door that leads to a secret room, and he found inside it a bottle of oxygen, and he was able to know that it was Ariella and those with her who were in this room and waited for the police to withdraw water from the drain, and then they took the gold. Then Bryn sends a message to Remy and asks him to meet her at the address she sent him. At night, Bryn arrives at the place and finds a car and there is a digital lock in it. And after a few moments a message reaches her on the phone that Ariella's friend gave her when she was at the bank and the message contained the lock code. And when she opened the car and found German gold. After a few moments, we see Dietrich Case, who arrived with his men at the place. 
He told Bryn that when Ariella told him that she would convince you to cooperate with them if the plan failed, he didn't believe her and he told her that money does everything. Bryn tells Dietrich Case that Ariella died in the explosion and asks him to free Ariella's brother. Bryn believed that Ariella had died in the explosion and did not know about the secret room. Dietrich Case sent a message to his men, but in the meantime Remy arrived with the police and they arrested Dietrich Case and his men, and she told him that she had agreed with Ariella that he would be arrested after he freed Ariella's brother. Bryn tells Remy that Ariella told her everything and she told her that she would make her arrest Dietrich Case, but if she died, her friend would send the gold to this place and she told her the address. She tells Bryn that she will tell Dietrich Case that Bryn will work with them for the money. And all this was in return for Bryn making sure that Dietrich Case left Ariella's brother. Bryn tells Remy that Ariella is dead and her brother is dead too. Remy tells Bryn that Ariella is not dead and he tells her about what he discovered inside the bank. We see this scene in Germany before the time Dietrich Case sent a letter to his men. Ariella is in Germany and arrived at the place where her brother was kidnapped and was able to save him. And here ends the movie. Thank you for watching.